Hi! Welcome! Hi, I'm Jenny. <laughs> I never get to wear sunglasses. And today I give you a whole bunch of stuff in my trailer right behind me. Yeah, all right behind me. Today we're doing something just a little different. I live in a tiny rural town, live in a toy hauler. I travel in a RAV4, I explore Death Valley, and now this summer I've been giving you a little glimpse to the inside of me and to where I live, which is the lovely town of Pahrump. I live full time in the toy hauler, I travel in my RAV4, and we're gonna do a little tour of my camping rig in a future date if you want. I don't know, does people wanna see how I live inside my RAV4 when I go places? Because I live in this or I'm in the tiny RAV. It's like I got a tiny home and then a tiny, tinier home. But I do not pull the trailer. The trailer at the moment is stationary. It is movable, uh, but obviously I'm not pulling that with a RAV4. If and when we need to move the trailer, that would be my brother's uh, diesel Ford F350. I hope I said that right because you Ford guys are very particular. I think maybe I'll just go inside so I can take these glasses off and talk to you where I'm not sweating. Okay, so I came inside, which is, whew, okay, I don't even know why I didn't just start inside, but I was all excited. I was going to be like, yeah, it's my trailer. And then, you know, it's hot and I'm squinting. And anyway, so I'm so excited that the heat is, uh, well, technically we probably have another four or five weeks of the heat before it really breaks. I can see the breaks are coming and I'm super excited because see this little notebook right here? This is my adventure notebook. This week's video is slightly off the beaten path. I live in the desert and I'm new to living in the desert. In case you don't know that, I've been here for a few years, but the more I've been here, the more I have experiences where I'm like, oh yeah, now I actually live in the desert. And I have had quite a few experiences recently with wildlife in my toy hauler, courtesy of my cat, CJ. And you know, CJ's really kind. She likes to bring the creatures in to just hang out. She's kind of a pacifist. So she doesn't really hurt anybody. She just brings them in. Being that I am a visual documentarian here on YouTube, I did what is not the normal thing to do. It, I mean, it might be one day, and it could be here soon, but uh, I turned on my camera and then started filming. So what you have coming up is Jenny versus a slew of wild animals in my trailer. Now, if that's not your cup of tea, and your cup of tea is history or hiking, well, please don't, don't go far. Don't leave. You don't have to leave. I'll be back next week with some history or hiking. But if watching a girl with ADHD learning to live in the desert is your cup of tea this week, then stick around. I got something brewing for you. And welcome. Subscribe and don't forget to hit the notification button so you will be here when we go on adventures. It'll just pop up and I'll be like, hi, I'm Jenny. We're on an adventure. <laughs> hi folks, I'm Jenny. And today I give you a hornet or wasp in my home. I left the screen open and he came inside. Last year, they accidentally, I allowed them to set up shop on the back side of my house. Um, so they're back. I'm not exactly sure how to approach the situation. Um, my brother is the combat veteran. And I feel like this is an appropriate situation for him to advise me on because <laughs> I'm not exactly sure. Uh, I've never had this situation before. I do have this, which is supposed to be an electric bug zapper. But the thing is, is I just got it. I have not tried it with a fly. And I kind of have a feeling like if I use this, and it doesn't work on that guy. 
it, it's not gonna be fun. Okay, I'm gonna stop and go see what the decorated combat veteran suggests that I do. <laughs> My little brother, woo! I'll be back in a minute. It's on the move. I went and talked to my brother. He said, build a trap maybe and lure it to some water. I mean, I don't want to be mean to it, but could you just go outside, buddy? Could you just, there's John the duck. Yeah, 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 see the, see the out this way? Whoa, I don't like, you're really close to me. Yeah, come this way. There's a door. Where are you? There you are. CJ. Okay. So I didn't hit it and now it's aware that I am here <laughs> and it just went behind the counter there. I wonder if some hairspray would work. This just lets me know I need to purchase bug spray. Hi buddy. Okay, this thing works. It didn't kill this thing though. It better. Ah! Oh, okay. Get out of here, dude. I don't mean to be mean, but you better go. Where'd you go? Okay. So the report is that when I ran outside, it flew outside, I believe, because I. I uh, searched around for where it might be, and I don't see it. It didn't drop down anywhere. And there's kind of a wasp floating around outside on the other side of my home. So, um, yeah. Whew. That was fun. <laughs> Catch on the flip side. Hey, update. He's on the shelf. I just, I went shopping. There he is. Dude, buddy, why? You have the great wide open world. What's going on? The other thing is it's warm and I did not put the AC on because I'm thinking, I mean, I don't know. I think it's time for a trap. <sighs> kind of trap, seen a few different ones online. Cannot believe this. I was, I was relaxed, not happy about this. This is the fun though, living the life. Okay. So the update is this. I just whacked it on the side, like this side right here, but I'm too short. I'm too short to be able to see if it's lying dead on top of my books. So I'm gonna come up with a plan. Ah, oh, I really don't wanna get bit by wasps today. It's already hot. I didn't even try on my AC. And this. Whoa, better not turn that on so close to my face. <laughs> God willing, I get this thing out of here. Okay, so the plan is I'm on my ladder. Could probably go one more step higher. We've already discussed slightly me and heights. I mean, I'm not completely scared, but I don't want to like panic because of a wasp. Um, right, let's see, I can stand a little bit higher. Okay, I don't see anything. I'm gonna turn the camera around and see what we can find. Nope, he's still moving. He is still moving. 
And he's coming towards me. Dude. Uh, nope, he's still moving. Whoa. He flew. Okay. I gotta put the camera down here a second. Woo, desert. <laughs> I'm going for a trap. I'm gonna make a trap. I googled a trap. So, uh, I got bacon grease. I will pour myself a little bottle of mineral water and cut up the trap. Said to make something like this. The water bottle, cut off the top, flipped it in back. I greased the sides of the bottle with olive oil. And then there's bacon grease melted a little bit in a big chunk. So hopefully this works. I'm just gonna put it up there and see what happens. As you can see, I've got the trap set up and he's somewhere in this corner. I have no idea what time it is. Hopefully this works. Okay, we have movement. He's on my notebook. It's all my craft stuff. Wow, you're big. There's grease in that trap right there. There you are. There's the grease. There you are. There's the grease. There you are. We see you. I kind of want to zap you, but I've zapped you and it didn't work and you're on my books. Just, I think you're messed up. I'm going in the house for the fly swatter. I think my brother has a fly swatter. I might be able to wound it. I'm normally Dr. Doolittle. I would try to just capture it, go outside, but these things are nasty. And if it starts to bite me, I'm gonna be a big baby. It's not gonna be pretty. Okay, I'm gonna see if I can get the fly swatter. I went in the house and got the fly swatter and now I don't know where it's at. And I put the phone down and look. I was like, okay, he's surfaced again. And then now I've got my brother in here helping, so let's see what happens. I mean, I've been hunting a wasp for four, at least three and a half hours now. So, yeah, yeah, I was very thankful to have my brother that I can come and say, like, help me. So he came in, he smacked it, he hunted it. He hit it up against the wall, uh, the window, and it fell in the window pane, dead. And so then I went in the house and then I came back out of the house to film right now and it's gone. So it's not dead. It flew somewhere. I have no idea where it went. And it's obviously extremely injured. I, the silver lining of this is I have patience and understanding for the poor wasp who is going to have to die. But where did he go? Where did he go? He is still alive and on my purse. So, yeah, at this point, I am rooting for him on some levels, but I do know that he's extremely injured. And he just needs to leave. He just needs to go. Buddy, it's been a good four hours. And I gotta go. My brother came and, um, oh, just brought the fly water back out. He came out and then he wrapped it and then took it outside and we gave it to the birds. Uh, and I just have to figure out why they... I don't know much about wasps. They had a nest in this area last year. So maybe they have a memory like birds. I don't know. I'm going to go have some dinner though. Okay. This was an unexpected adventure of Jenny gives you how she handles a wasp in her house for four and a half hours. CJ, 
what, what are you doing? What's going on? What's over in my books? Okay. We got a friend in the house. Uh, I was just doing video editing. And, um... I just noticed that guy going um, the wrong way. Buddy, you're going the wrong way. Now, hi, my name is Jenny and I give you a lizard. Whoa, crap. Oh, okay. I'm sorry I say crap, but like CJ, what are you doing? CJ, yeah, you should get that. Did you see that? He just jumped. He just jumped. I didn't know they could jump. Okay, now he's behind the, the thing. That means he's down here somewhere. He's right here. Hi, right, buddy. I really just wonder if I can... Yeah, I can see you. You know that? I, I can see you. And obviously my cat. Like, so I kind of want to take you outside. Whoa, where are you going? No, don't go that way. Don't go back out that way. That's not your little... Yeah, okay, that's your little spot. You think you're, gonna, you're just gonna chill there? I'm not exactly sure how I'm getting out of my home. I don't really, obviously my cat's not going to eat you. So we're going to have to rescue you. Whoa. Nope, you're not going to be able to go that way. That's not a good idea. That's not a good idea. This is metal. Okay, I feel like you're traumatized or something because sitting like that, you're just waiting for a bird to come and get you. CJ did not eat you, and I got you outside. Just sitting here waiting for a bird to pick him up. We gotta find a home for you, buddy. Let's go. I think you'll like it over here. I really think like it over in here like this is just perfect for you right this is perfect kind of like a little grass field CJ doesn't really come over here I feel like this is a great home for you come on there you go good job good job there you go Adios, buddy. I'll see you. I'll catch you on the flip side. Please stay out of my trailer. I don't like you in the hauler. Now, what's going on? Seriously? Did you... I, I just can't leave the door open. Excuse my messy trailer, but now what have you done? What have you done? I feel like you did something, which is why I've got the camera out. There's something in my boots. No, there's nothing in my boots. I hear something though. What did you do? What did you do? There's something back there. Cause you came in. Well get it. Get it. Get it. Get it. Don't make me chase it. Get it. That's your job. Isn't your job to keep the things out of our house? Too much stuff in the corner. But whatever it is, CJ thinks it's back behind there because she's been there for an hour. So, 
I am going to have to clean up my hauler anyways. Hi, I'm Jenny, and today I give you another adventure of some creature in my home. Okay, I've taken the big stuff off. So now, CJ, see what you got. I have a feeling it went that way, but let's get the shelf out of here. Wasn't the best storage system anyways. Squirrel. CJ has brought in a ground squirrel. CJ. CJ, get out of here. Thank you. CJ. Okay, buddy. I thought that was a... CJ. CJ. I know. Get out of there. That's not helping. Okay, buddy, where'd you go? My guess is you went behind the, you're behind one of those two things right there. Oh, there you are. Hi, buddy. Hi. Uh, you're right there. Okay. Hi. How are you doing? Um, I think you're in the wrong spot. I'm going to figure out how to get you out of here. I'm going to have to go with, going to have to talk to my brother. Oh, video update. Here's CJ on the chair. Looking all indignant. Hi, I'm Jenny, and I give you a mirage of things that are stuck in my house. And now here comes my brother. Oh. I, know. <laughs> I know. I know. works out good, though, for that. Hi, buddy. Yeah, this is my brother's contraption. He jumps. Oh, that's the answer to that question. They jump. All right. Uh, this has been another episode of Desert Creatures Inside My Toy Hauler. Thank you. Uh, hopefully we will not be back with another episode. Hi, I'm Jenny. And I give you, I don't know what's in my trailer now. Literally, fourth time in a week cj i thought yesterday was a bird it wasn't a bird and it wasn't a squirrel it's a chipmunk and i think he's back in the trailer again i thought she brought a lizard in last night and then i just thought okay well if it's a lizard then that's fine because well you know i'll find him in a minute but now i hear noises and i don't know that lizards make noises so I think the chipmunk's back. Let's go find out. Hi, I'm Jenny. And today I give you cat adventure number three this week. My cat here, CJ, has never brought me treats, ever. Like, never. She was back over here I took off this morning, I come home, she's over here, and I hear noises. So again, I bring you desert creatures in my toy hauler.
Okay. Now he's somewhere back behind there. So I put this there so he, he's got to run and leap. So if he can do that, more power to him. Move, CJ. You had to bring the chipmunk in. There's my roller skates. You just had to bring the chipmunk in, didn't you? Oh, there you are. Okay, buddy. Yep. That's not the place where you need to be. And I know you're scared. I'd be scared too. But I'm the bigger human that's going to help you. So let's just work together. I don't enjoy this any more than you do. I got an idea. I'm gonna text my brother, have him bring the keys out and that little door opens and then he can jump. Okay. Literally, I just have too much stuff. I, I got too much stuff. Um, the fact that I had to move all this stuff to find the guy, this made me realize like, what is all this stuff? So I'm gonna be going on another purge because I don't think I can stop CJ from bringing lizards and chipmunks and things into my home. But I definitely have learned from this. I just got too much stuff. I don't even know what this stuff is. So, thank you. I <laughs> am grateful and thankful that I have a home that I can capture wild creatures out of. And thank God there's not snakes, there's not scorpions. So, this has been another adventure of Jenny Gibbs, Animals in the Desert. We might go to Las Vegas here soon too. If you guys think, should I go to Vegas? Does anybody want me to go to Vegas? Let's take a survey. In the comments below, if you think we should do a Vegas run, yeah, leave me a comment. I have a few ideas for Vegas. There, there's a section in there too. <laughs>